Hey, what's up? It's the Figure Hunter, and today I'm going to do the non review review for the Lumen Metabolism Tracker. And I'm calling this a non review review because I am not simply just in love with it to the point where I could fully test out all the aspects it could possibly do. So I don't feel like this is a full fledged review, but I also felt like I needed to share my experience and share just a simple summary of what I don't like and what I do like about the Lumen Metabolism Tracker. So if you like this uh, video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more. Lots and lots and lots of content on the way. So we're gonna talk about a few basic things. We're gonna talk about what it is, we're gonna talk about why I got it, and then we're gonna look at the hands-on of the device and the app, and then we're gonna talk about what I like and what I don't like about the uh, device and the app and all that sort of stuff itself. So what it is, it's a metabolism tracker that just takes breathing in and out of. So you pull the little cap off, you breathe in, and then you breathe out under a certain time cadence scale, and it gives you an evaluation of how your metabolism is functioning at that point in time. It typically takes two breaths. They say it typically takes one to two breaths, but out of like 40 trials, it's always taken two, two breaths except for you know one or two times. But what it does is it basically says you're on a scale of one to five. One being like total fat burn, five being total carb burn, and you just sort of fall on some of that numerical spectrum. When you look at this device, a lot of people use it to set their program in place or to set their diet in place. It basically gives them the capabilities to have an awareness of what type of fuel source they're relying on at that point metabolically. And then it does other cool things. So basically you take certain number of uh, tests throughout the day, you know, like when you first wake up, after you eat breakfast, after you eat lunch, before you go to work out, after you work out, you know, before you go to bed, all of those types of things. And over time, it is supposed to learn more about your metabolic burn rate. And it also is, the whole premise is to give you sort of a, a metabolic, you know, health score where you can see how your metabolism is like a well-oiled machine or not like a well-oiled machine. It flows into, I mean, the app has recipes you can cook with. It's got a food entry system like MyFitnessPal where you can track your macros. And it, it, it's supposed to, before you go into workout, you do your little tracker and it'll say, you know, recommendations for what you should fuel up. But in simple form, it's just really trying to provide you a snapshot of what your metabolism is doing at any time and what your metabolism metabolic trends look like it costs a good pretty penny it's 250 for a six month plan and after six months it renews at 25 dollars a month so that's 150 bucks on the remainder of the 12 month period so you're paying 400 dollars the first year and then it's 25 bucks a month after that so it's 300 dollars the second year you pay $300 for the 12 month plan and then it just jumps to an annual cost of $300. So you basically save hundred bucks from the six month plan. And then if you do an 18 month plan, it costs $350 and then it goes on an annual subscription after that. So you're going back to the $300. So over a period of time, it costs less on the whole. But in simple terms, it is a whopper of expensive, a device that's taken in 30 or $25 a month or $300 a year to give you sort of health feedback. Now, that was what, that's what it is. And I'll look at, look at the device and the app in a second. Why did I get it is because for the last four and a half weeks, I've been doing a version of the hard 75. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's kind of an interesting concept because it's more based on like, a, it's more of like a personal growth plan is the way I see it or way I've evolved it um, versus just a diet. And so I really wanted to know, would this provide insight with, are, are there changes in my metabolic rate? So I do intermittent fasting three days a week for an 18 hour period at a time. And so I wanted to see like, could it see when I'm really like hyper burning things and that'll feed into what I share about what I didn't get out of it. So with that, let's dive into a hands-on of the uh, device and the app, and then we'll come back together and talk about the summary of things I like and don't like. All right, so here it is. This is the Lumen, and it it has a very, very good quality feel to it. It's got sort of like, um, you know, a plastic exterior, but a sort of a textured. It's got a metal cap, and it just sort of snaps in place. Super, super cool. You have your breathing unit through it. You can't really see all the way through the device. Basically, you take the breaths in and breathe the breaths out. Follow the little pattern there. And it just basically, when it goes to charge, you just sort of plop it on the base. It looks really cool. It lights up around the front. You could probably see that. And it just, I mean, the base feels really solid, has a solid weight to it and size. And overall, it's just a high quality, um, 
creation and high quality manufacturing. This is the on button. That's the only button that you possibly need. It comes with this little carrying case. Um, but overall high quality build and the charger, I've had this for like two and a half weeks and maybe I've taken 40 measurements or whatever. It still says 100%. So whatever they're using, it's, you know, it's like the Tesla of metabolism trackers is just going to go forever. Maybe that's not a good comparison because Teslas can't go forever unless you plug it in. Um, so it's just, it's just got some sort of superpower battery pack. So this is what it is, you know, with the hands on really simple. And I just sort of plop this around. It feels like it's got solid, you know, weight to it. It's not going to crack. I don't feel like it, even if you dropped it. So let's look at the app. All right. So this is how it's going to look. You go in basically to register something and I could just sort of say, well, I've broken my fast. This is, I'm just going to say after, after eating. And then you, you pick your dinner and then you sit and relax. You initialize the device. And then it says, let's go. Inhale deeply through your lips. Hold your breath. Exhale in three, two, one. And then you get this little mid message. This is where it's going to probably ask me to do a second reading because it always asks me for a second reading. You have to wait 15 seconds. Inhale deeply through your exhale in three, two, one. And there we have it. You get an analysis. It gives you a little feedback score and it sort of bounces you through and it says, what are you doing right now? I'm burning mostly carbs. Now I ate like a hearty protein rich meal and you know you can log your food here and otherwise there you it you know, after fasting i got a four <laughs> this is today's measurements and we'll talk about this a little bit more but you know this is the first measurement i'm clicking on this it doesn't give me any information other than i got a four at 348 that was like 16 hours into a fast and then after eating at 11 15 i'm you got a four as well. So it's the same thing. So you get a summary here. It has a lot of really good videos that you can bounce through. You know, it asks you to take, you know, to log your food and, you know, to track your metabolism after the workout. It picks up workouts that flow through from Apple Health. Um, you know, I have a few different devices, so a lot to flow through. This week so far, I can't go into any history. I can't see like the past. So I, you know, if I click on Monday, it's just sort of saying, wait, you just took a breath, but it's not giving me a number. So you have to do a certain number of um, intakes, data point intakes for it to give you a number for the day. Um, you can go into the explore tab and it has food recipes, Lumen basics. It just, it has a lot of really, it is a well-built app and it's got a lot of direction around what information you can get and how to use the device. In some ways, though, it's a simple, and so you could, you know, read articles, stuff like that, but it's a simple device. It's not really that hard. Um, and then in the, the chart, here's where you would see your metabolic score, your metabolic uh, flexibility score or whatever they call it, whatever word they use. But it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't populate because I, even though I've used it for two weeks, I haven't done like the 12 measurements a day to give it enough data to give me a final score after a prolonged period of time. So that's all closing. So that's that's the basic simple overview of how the device works. So it summarize on the likes and don't likes. I'd rather just sort of show you different things that I came across, whether it's the device or the app itself, rather than just sort of talk about it in list form. So let's dive into that. All right, so this is the website that lists actually all the features and benefits of it. Real-time tracking to understand how your metabolism works. And this is one of the big failures to me is that I feel like a scale of one to five is too short of a spectrum to provide a real understanding for how my metabolism works. Now, obviously, if you have a bunch of data points across time, then you know you might be able to see what to eat in the morning, midday, and night, or what to eat before workout, and things like that. And then maybe that would optimize it. But again, to me, out of the box, it wasn't giving me clear enough information to make it useful. And I didn't feel like I could integrate or wanted to integrate eight or 10 different measurements throughout the day. Nutrition coaching, you know, so like it does have some form of a daily personalized, uh, personalized nutrition plan. Um, but again, you might be following your own program. So you have to go all in on Lumen. And the reason you go all in is because of the cost. It's just a very expensive device. So in looking at the device, I just continually feel like there's not enough useful information. So there are five minute videos or videos for how to use the device and what it can go through. But I think even in the explore, to me, it doesn't provide enough useful information for how to take the data 
and have a significant control of your metabolic rate. Like you're gonna, you're gonna master your metabolic rate. I don't feel like this accomplishes it. It does, it does a lot of good videos on how to use the device and how to take your morning measure to how often or whatever. But to me, I don't feel like it's really helping me fully grasp in a specific scientific way my metabolism in a way I could control it and lead it to somewhere else. So that's one of the things that just really hard. And then in my history, if you don't take enough measurements, you can see I have today's measurements, but I can't see last week. I can try to swipe this week so far. It, there's no history. It didn't exist. I have not had it before today. Um, and it re erased, it erased last week from what I can see, from what I could easily find on the app. Now, all the measurements I took last week, when I was fasting throughout that time to try to show you an example, they're all gone. Because, oh boy, by the way, it's Monday, and so last week's data doesn't exist. Now, obviously, if I had this activated, then maybe it would tell me something this is just your lumen score. So this is like your lumen flexibility or your, your, your optimization of your metabolic rate, but <clears throat> not, not helpful, not helpful information. So yeah, all these are all the workouts that flow through. So you can, you can count your carbs or you can see how many carbs you burn during the workout and it gives you recommendations for what to eat after. Um, so, but otherwise, what do I think it really provides um, in these other spectrum of things? It just provides some recipes and it might make you a meal plan of how many carbs, proteins, and fats you need to take in. But the fact that it doesn't have history, the fact that I can't extract my data, the fact it's not giving me truly more detailed, actionable information, and the fact it's not even giving me hardcore scores when I'm in an extreme state of fasting is just a... So there you have it. And so what do I think? It just didn't help me at all. It didn't give me any useful information. So I thought it would be somewhat useful because I was doing an extreme version of, of metabolic impact, you know? So like I would test it, you know, over periods of time when I was in the middle of a fast, like 12 to 14 hours in, or towards the end of the fast, like 16 to 18 hours in, or 16 to 18 hours, like post-workout at the end of the fast. And I just felt like it was all milk toast. It was all sort of like bland numbers. It would be like, you know, you're kind of, you're kind of, you got a four, you're burning a little more carbs than fats right now. And I just feel like, what do I do with this information? Even if it gave me like ones and fives, like where it says you are like totally burning fat or you are totally burning carbs. I just feel like, what is that? I don't know. What doesn't give me like the actionable things. And sure, if I had like followed the plan or obviously, obviously, and I don't know how many Lumen lovers are out there, but obviously if if you're a big user, then maybe it applies to you. Like maybe you want to, to eat a couple carbs or a couple of units of carbs before you go to a workout because it says you need to do that. Or, you know, and maybe if you follow the regimen, then it'll, it'll help you evolve your metabolism into a more efficient machine. But in simple terms, it didn't give me enough specificity of insight. Scale of one to five, I'm doing extreme fasting, <laughs> just water only. And it's just sort of like, yeah, you're kind of burning a little bit more carbs and fats. And I just feel like, what, what, did, what are you good for? What are you good for? Because it, it's not, it just doesn't feel like it's, it's working for me. So in an extreme situation, I thought, and then, but then I also reflected on the fact that, well, what if it did tell me like I'm hitting ones and fives, like the opposite end of the spectrum, I don't know that that would help me much either, you know, and maybe it's obviously it's related to the diet and just my suggestion. So if you are looking for just building your diet around uh, your metabolic rate, then you might be able to use this system. You might be able to extract your metabolic rate and follow a meal plan that it's suggesting for you because it will try to, from what I understand, I didn't go through that, create a meal plan for you that's based on how your body's reacting to food. And that might be really cool. That might help you to, eat in such a way that it optimizes your met metabolic rate and helps you to lose weight or to feel better in general terms. One thing I'll say if you do buy it is you should just plan on taking tests all the time, like all the time. Give it a hundred readings and every test, plan on taking two breaths. Every test, it's gonna be like two minutes which isn't a big deal, but if you gotta remember this little thing around and you gotta go, you know, and you gotta go through a two minute test eight times a day, it, it, it's a commitment. And obviously it's a damn commitment because you're paying a lot of money for it. So with that, that is the Lumen Metabolism Tracker non-review review. This is the Fit Gear Hunter. Thanks so much for watching.